Welcome back, this is chapter 6. The Hundred Dresses Part 2 Written by Albasar Esther And now, I'm going to explain page number 73 to you. So here we go. While the class was circling the room, the monitor from the principal's office brought Miss Mason a note. Miss Mason read it several times and studied it thoughtfully for a while. So here are these lines say or that after the declaration of the result, the entire class was allowed to have a good look at the artistry and vision of the painter who had marveled all with her design and color. While the class was admiring the beautiful sketches, the monitor brought a note for Miss Messon from principal's office. She went through the note a number of times and gave a thought to the contents of the letter for a while. Then she clapped her hands. Attention class! Everyone back to the seat. When the shuffling of feet had stopped and the room was still and quiet, Miss Mason said, I have a letter from Wanda's father that I want to read to you. Miss Mason stood there a moment and the silence in the room grew tense and expectant. The teacher adjusted her glasses slowly and deliberately. Her manner indicated that what was coming. This letter from Wanda's father was a matter of great importance. Everybody listened closely as Miss Mason read the brief note. So here, this line say, or that, grasping the points of the note that is of the letter fully, she clapped her hands to request the attention to her. Then she sent everyone back to their seat. As the commotion of the class settled, she announced she had a letter from Wanda's father which she wanted to read out to them. Oh, let's see, what's the content of the letter given here? Dear teacher, my Wanda will not come to your school anymore. Jake also. Now, we move away to big city. No more holler Pollock. No more ask why funny name. Plenty of funny names in the big city. Yours truly, Jen Petronsky. A deep silence met the reading of this letter. Miss Mason took off her glasses blew on them and wiped them on a soft white handkerchief. Then she put them on again and looked at the class. When she spoke, her voice was very low. So here, these lines say, this line suggests that Miss Mason's demeanor and her reaction after reading the letter filled everyone, every heart with anxiety. Then adjusting her glasses, she spoke in a serious tone. She said oh, that the letter from Wanda's father was a matter of big concern, was a matter of not only concern but also of significance. She then read the note to which everyone listened with rapt attention. 
the letter said, they were moving out to the big city with lots of funny names and none would ask them there why such names and that neither Petronsky nor Jake would come to school anymore. I am sure that none of the boys and girls in room 13 would purposely and deliberately hurt anyone's feeling because his or her name happened to be a long unfamiliar one. I prefer to think that what was said was said in thoughtlessness. I know that all of you feel the way I do that this is a very unfortunate thing to have happened unfortunate and sad both and I want you all to think about it so here this line suggests that she was sure that none of the students in room 13 would knowingly hurt anyone's feelings because of one's long and uncommon name she added then saying what was said was spoken in carelessness and that all in the room held the same opinion as she had that it was unfortunate even she wanted the class to reflect on it so this is all for now thank you